What's going on, folks? Ortiz versus Lopez. Ortiz, obviously the favorite. How much of a chance does Lopez stand? Well, I'll tell you what. When I heard about the fight, I was excited. But now this whole Canelo business has me mm, kind of iffy about the whole thing. Still. Still. I I, I want to look at it. You know, I, I want to see... You know, if, if Jose Zito really stands a chance at all. And all I can say is he's <clears throat> he's been in 34 fights and he's knocked out 17 guys. He hasn't knocked out top level competition. Uh he went <laughs> he went bang for bang with Jesse Vargas. They both threw bombs at each other, but Neither one of them could fucking get a KO, even though they got hit plenty and plenty and plenty more. I don't know, guys. I know, I know. The hype from the Mike Dallas Jr. KO uh, makes us think that Vargas, or not Vargas, but Lopez really has a good punch on him. And I'd say the kid's got pop. He's like, you know, Timothy Bradley, you don't say he has KO power, but he's definitely got pop. But he doesn't really have real power, and that is all at 140 pounds. Now, I know Victor Ortiz came from 140 pounds. We know him from 140 pounds, and Walter Waite is still fairly new to him as far as his career goes. To that, I say... He's acclimated himself well enough to 147 for it to be a factor here. Um, I don't think a guy like Jose Zito Lopez would have dropped a guy like Berto, even though Berto has a questionable chin from the amount of times he's been dropped by fighters without real power, i.e. Quintana. I think there was one before that, wasn't there? I can't really remember. Was it, uh, did he get knocked down in the, uh, fuck, what was that guy, Colazzo fight? I don't know. Anyway, we're not talking about Berto, but still, it's relevant. Ortiz has a questionable chin as well, though I say he gets dropped. He has a good recovery. Uh, yes, he got KO'd by Mayweather, but let's set that aside for the moment because of the way that fight ended in the whole, you know, bullshit surrounding that whole that KO. Um I say Ortiz still has power at 147. I say he's got good power. Um, and I say he can take a Jose Zito Lopez punch. And I say he can take Lopez's best punch and take it with some grace. Uh, at the same time, Lopez coming up might be able to have a little bit more pop that might make Ortiz think a little bit because Ortiz doesn't have the best chin. What he has is good recovery. You can drop him, but you know, it's really hard to keep him down. I mean, Madonna made him quit, but Madonna couldn't keep him down with in punches. You know what I mean? So, Ortiz is a tough guy. Lopez is a tough guy, too. He's never been knocked out. But he's never fought a guy like Ortiz. Not really. And his biggest win is a KO over Mike Dallas Jr., and then he lost to Vargas. A lot of people say Lopez won. A lot of people say Vargas won. I'm not really sure because I haven't seen the whole fight. Um, I've seen highlights, but who is it? Back to 21 1 or 1 or 21 back to 1. <laughs> if you can <clears throat> figure out what username I'm trying to say, uh, the highlight for that video is basically the Vargas fight versus Lopez with um, pretty much the action and punches that happened 1 through 12. It's not the whole fight, but. What he's done is cut out the lulls in action and shown you what each fighter did per round. And good fight, good to watch, fun. Does it make you think that he's going to stand much of a chance against Ortiz? The fact that he's not been knocked out may give him a chance, but the fact that he's moving up in weight and fighting a uh, guy who, who, can, who can really fight in Ortiz... I don't know, guys. I'm not that excited about it anymore, and 
the real the real chance that Lopez has in this fight is the X factors. Can he have more power moving up in weight? Can he take a welterweight punch from Victor Ortiz? <clears throat> Can he outwork Ortiz? I think he can do that at least. But is he going to look slower at 147? And is Ortiz overlooking Lopez to the Canelo fight? I think that almost has to be a given, at least a little bit. I know he's a professional fighter. He's got to focus on the guy in front of him. But during training for Lopez, he goes and signs this fight. It tells me he's thinking ahead. He's thinking forward from the Lopez fight. And I'm not too sure that I fault him too much for it. Um, it may be rude, and I don't really agree with that. It is kind of rude to the guy you're getting ready to fight. But Lopez, guys, I'm saying right now, I'm calling this, Lopez is not a threat to Ortiz. He's not a live underdog. He's just an underdog. He's not an underdog that people are overlooking. He's not an underdog that has a real good shot. Like I said, he's not live. Lopez doesn't have power. Lopez is not going to uh, be able to keep Ortiz off of him. And let's look at Lopez to let's look at his defense. Let's look at his and Ortiz's defense. If you look at both their defense, boy, Ortiz is open. I'll give you that. He's open. But he can at least defend a little bit. <laughs> Lopez doesn't move his head. And then, hold on. He doesn't move his head, and then, so he relies on the, the guard. He relies on his guard up here, right? But he doesn't try and catch punches coming in. He's not looking to, to deflect and counter. He just puts his fucking hands up here, and is, if you can get in the middle, he's real susceptible to, to the jab, jab cross combo. Look at the Vargas fight. He is uppercut, susceptible to the uppercut, and if you can pop a loop and a uh, hook around his guard, you're going to fucking hit him in the ear. I mean, Lopez's defense is horrible, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we go back to the Mike Douse Jr. fight. Look, he looked great in that fight. Uh, he pulled off the upset in that fight. But that was still at 140 pounds, and Mike Dallas Jr. is nowhere near, nowhere near the kind of real test at 140. He was a prospect, basically, that nobody really knew. We, we had a bunch of questions with no answers, and fucking Josecito Lopez went in there and answered the questions. But that was with an up-and-comer, a guy who hadn't proven himself, Ortiz. Uh, say what you will. I still, I still, I still to this day don't like the fact that he quit it against Madonna. I don't like the fact that he drew with Peterson, uh, and he probably should have won that fight. Regardless, he let Peterson be in that fight when he didn't have to let Peterson be in this fight. Look, I understand Ortiz is not perfect. He's not very good defensively either, but he can do more defensively than. Lopez can. Lopez basically stands in front of you with his hands up like this and starts throwing punches. And also, I must say this. Uh, I know I'm shitting all over, all over Lopez, but if he was fighting a guy at 140, I'd probably be more excited. But at welterweight with Ortiz, <clears throat> look, when, uh, when Lopez unloads, right, when he backs away, his hands, he's, he gets done punching right and he backs away, his hands go down. Ortiz is going to fuck this kid up, I'm telling you. I don't see this kid lasting half the fight with Victor Ortiz, and that's not to hype Ortiz up. It's just the only way that Lopez even goes to the decision in this fight, in my opinion, is if these X factors all work in his favor. And, and to me, the deck's kind of stacked against Lopez. Ortiz is going to knock this kid out, and I'm going to say Ortiz knocks him out if he's on top of his game and really thinking about Lopez and taking into consideration that Lopez is open and Lopez is willing to brawl, Ortiz can box or brawl in this fight and win either way. I'm going to say KO in round, fuck it, KO in round three. That's what I'm rolling with, guys. Ortiz takes this easy fight. Deuces.